Oh man, okay, so yeah, we have, uh, and so that's that's loud enough, it's got to it catch the ambience. Sure, but, um, are we live yet? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we are live. We're oh, live. we're on? We've been live. Oh, yeah. sh- live glad I didn't say anything I should, cheers, good health, you guys, apple juice. Did that just all go to one, oh no, don't do that, don't do that, don't you dare, oh it's my, okay. All right, we're getting this down. This is nice. This is great. I have to take a photograph of this. <laughs> Why? Because that's what I do. So how's everybody doing out there in Facebook land? Cheers. Here's hey, guys. What's up? We have Mr. Murray Sawchuck. Mm. Hey, guys. What's up? And Mr. Earl Campbell. Cheers. Cheers. What up, Earl? Cheers. Cheers. What up, man? Cheers. Good health, everybody. Good health. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. This is yeah. great. Yeah, here we are. I feel like we're in a station wagon going down the road a little bit. You know, you're driving on a passenger, you know. Taking the, I mean, it definitely feels, uh, yeah, it's, it's you know? definitely getting used to, man. This whole. It's like a 70s Volkswagen van. We're just going down the road that's, that's to Woodstock, you know. Absolutely. Living our best life, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For real. Who is it Greg? that song? Do you know? No, I nobody don't. knows. But it's all, he was that one hit wonder. Uh oh. Oh, bring the doggy in. Lou, Lou get, get in here. Oh, Lou, that's my favorite. So yeah. this is this is Murray's little baby Kalua. We call her Lou. Yeah, Kalu. Oh, oh, she Lou. likes you. <laughs> there you are, little Lou. Yeah, little Lou. <laughs> Look at her, <laughs> like Yoda. So, yeah, man, the weather's been good out here. We've been yeah. Out here. You know. In Vegas, what else is going spring on? Spring has finally way? sprung. Spring is, you know. In, in, finally. Yeah, so, spring here, though, is like 86 degrees, though. Yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. not It's not like Montana or Canada. No, no, no. I mean, we're heading for summer real quick. Real fast. We're going to wake up and the sun's going to be yeah. boom, right in your yeah. face. Hot as balls. <laughs> you know, Did I say that on my left? I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. I know. Spring free. <laughs> Really? Spring free of <laughs> spring. Really? Have another drink. Get yourself yeah. straight low. This is my first glass. I swear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great. This is a great vibe you have in this room. I love this. So yeah, Lucy. <laughs> this is really and cool. The Fergusons, Thurstons, <clears throat> uh, the Terescos, mm-hmm. uh, all came out here. Yeah, the producers. The executive producers. Yes. The executive producers. They got yes. their jackets. Yes. Yeah. They, so they came out and they did this when I went for a trip with John Thurston, who was in on it also. Who got me away from the house, and I came back to this. That's pretty awesome. And I know everybody wants to see the full room and everything. I'll do a tour one of these days. But it goes for miles. I mean, it just, it you is. can't even, you wouldn't have enough There's time right, right now. Right around the corner. Oh, about an acre. This whole big space. Warehouse. Yeah. That, uh, that I use for, for storing small boxes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. It would take all, it would take up the whole time. Yeah. I know. No, it's a really cool room, though. Yeah. The space, boy, they did. Some, they didn't they do great. It's amazing, actually. And it's couch, you know, the gravel rim right there. We've got the, oh yeah. yeah. We've got we've got we've got, we've got the, yeah. yeah. We've got the political poopers. I need yeah. both of them. You know. I like so, that. Yeah. You get the Jägermeister. Yeah. The political yeah. poopers are these little political. I love it. Poopers. Um, this is awesome. Yeah. Oh, you can't hear me. Okay. All right. Thank you, love. Thank you. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to share this on my page right now. I was hearing myself through. Well, I can hear you sound great. Let me just bring it up a little more. All right, there we go. Let me see. Check, check, check. Yeah, okay. Talk. Check one, two, three. Okay. Check that one, two. That oh, a little bit. Too hot. Okay. Check one, two, three. Am I, you can hear me? You feel yeah. good about that? I think so. I'm going to try to share this right now so I can. So, uh, so uh, if you don't know, uh, uh, back in 2010, when I was on America's Got Talent, uh, I knew of Murray out here, but we got to meet each other on set. There, Murray was on the fifth season yeah. along with me. 2010. Yeah. We go back a long and, ways. Uh, and you won, and I lost. <laughs> that's <laughs> that is how it works. Um, yeah, See? well, you know, it, yeah, and then we... Be, we <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange thing, those shows. Yeah, know? right? It's a game. Uh, yeah, it's a game. It's a game, yeah. You did great, though. You sound amazing. The audience loves you. Everybody did. Especially the ones that got up to the finals. We we all actually became friends, a lot of us, from Lindsey Sterling to you to Prince Poppycock and all of that. Because it's really not, it's not a sport we're in. It's not a competition which they're trying to do on these shows. That's right. And they try to make it out like we're all competing, but we're really, you know, backstage, we're all just 
where everybody seems to, especially in the finals, you know, you get a uh, deep love. Totally. From everybody. Because you're all in the same yeah. boat. Yeah. Like you're all trying to do what you do. And at that point, you kind of are original, whether you're a magician, a juggler, a singer, you know, a musician, whatever it is. And I think you just try to, you're trying to get to your next dream, whatever that is, or the next gig. And, and we're, we're know. sensitive. Entertainers. Oh, totally. We're artists. We're yeah. sensitive. Yeah, we have egos. We have... We, you we have work, to have the you know, ego a little bit. But sure you know, you do. Say. Yeah, no, you have to. Without yeah. ego, people always say you don't have an ego. And yes... I don't think we do because we know a lot of people with big egos, but we kind of, we still do our, like, we, you know you what I mean? To, like, you have to you have, have something. a little bit of narcissism. Yes. Now, when you say narcissism, people think, oh, you're a narcissist. No, that's not what we're saying. That's no. not what I'm saying here. Uh, no. To, to, you have to have ego or narcissism to be able to protect yourself enough in this business. Otherwise, you don't, you can't survive. There's no way you can survive. 100%. This is a doggy dog business. A hundred percent. Tear you apart. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good you are. Don't realize. Yeah. yeah it, it doesn't matter how good you are. Or how uh, you know, there's a as you know this in the music business. There's companies that will actually bring on really talented musicians and put them on a label to hold them down to make the other artist go further because they know that damn artist will if they get another label they will take off. And, you know the business and people don't know a lot about that even in the magic world in the variety world. Um, it's it's interesting. It's man, a game, it took man. Me you know? Over fifty thousand dollars paying my attorney to get out of that. Did you really deal with Epic Records? Yeah, really. Yeah, because yeah. 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 it's pretty confining, yeah. isn't it? Well, you I know? was sitting around the house doing nothing. Yeah, and they were taking all of you know all of my, you know, even were the merchandise. Really? You know, they, they they wanted it all and yep. And I, and I wanted it back. I wanted of to course. work. I couldn't even work here in town. Isn't that for, because of the constrictions that they put on you? That's well, long, long stories way back with Terry Fader. Yeah. You know, when he won America's Got Talent, uh, he had his lawyers because the contract owned you. And he changed all of that, and they weren't too happy about it. And that's, that's you know, he went through all that. Well, well you, know, you know, Terry, he got he got a little, I don't know what you his know? deal was but with that, but he, he got lucky. Yes. On that. Yeah. Oh, he—he that, he, that was the newest. That he was yeah. third season or fourth. Third I or guess fourth. right like, after Terry. They, yeah, America's they tightened got it up. Talent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were like, you know what, we got to put a little more. The yeah, yeah. board going away. We need to. Yeah, sharpen the pencil. This. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hundred percent, you know what I mean. But but it's one of those things where you sit back and you learn, and also. But you know, I also, I mean, I had a good experience on the show, but I also knew it was a game. You know yeah, what I mean? And, yeah. and I, I don't know what your feelings were on the show, but I. You it know, definitely felt like a game show. Yeah, sure it is. Yeah, yeah, and you hope to last game. as long as you can, and then right. use it to promote yourself and keep gigging. You know, because we all want to work, right? That's exactly. the name of the game, I think. Yeah, you know. And see, one of the great things you did a lot, and I did a lot of people that go on those shows, they don't do. And I always tell them to do, mm -hmm. make sure you have some merchandise before you get in front of Sells millions of people. You That's know? right. Because they'll want to get it. You don't win. You You'll buy a t-shirt, they'll win. buy yeah, something absolutely. cool. Yeah. And, and yeah, yeah. yeah. But people, you know, and people with merchandising who don't know the world of the business, look at Disneyland. Yeah. You go to Disneyland, you buy an $80 ticket to get into Disneyland. But for the next day when you're there you're buying souvenir cups that look like mini you're buying the mickey mouse ears you're buying the t-shirts that's how they really make the, money. the 80 bucks is not how they're making their money they're making their money because you're buying all the other crap take all of day, this you know he don't guys i mean take all of this in what you're hearing right now and use that those who ever uh yeah, you know, you know, seriously, up and coming or up and coming, you're right. Yeah, old and still <laughs> going, are, whatever you want to call pearls. yourselves. I'm giving you pearls here. We're giving you pearls. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? So it's true though. You don't know that until you've been around for a hot minute. You know what I mean? Right. And I uh, was lucky know. to you know have all that set up before I went on the sure. show because if, even if I didn't win the show. I was like, man, I, you, you remember yeah. whenever you were on there? That's right. Like, you see all the numbers. Oh, your Facebook's blowing up. Your oh, unbelievable! Sites calling you, you know, going, yeah. what's going on? You know, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's, and it, it literally overnight, though. Like, you know, people always when I get interviewed, people always go, you know, was there a moment in your career where you saw a moment where you might have thought you'd been doing good? Finally, somebody actually acknowledged you. And I remember for me on the set, and I'm sure it had to have happened for you. And I'd never, you know, the, the, these our smartphones here finally came around. It wasn't analog. It it wasn't flip. It was a smartphone like this that we use now, 10 years ago. But we just got into that. Mm -hmm. And I remember when you film in L.A., you're three hours uh, ahead or behind uh, New York. And New York, it airs first. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get back to your hotel room, when it really airs in L.A., where it's mm -hmm. shot, at least when we were on it, yeah. 
you can sit back, have a glass of wine, and watch yourself on TV because yeah. you got back from the set and you can see yourself. Well, the coolest thing when I was on that show um, was when I did really well on one of my episodes, like you did. I sat back in my hotel room and my phone didn't stop ringing for three hours from text, uh, text, and Facebook and Twitters. East, yes, from from and the East central, Coast, all the Midwest, central, yeah, and, and everyone had yeah, hit. And literally for four and a half hours, my phone didn't stop ringing. I said to my mom and dad, who were there, and my dad, who's still alive, I said, "This will never listen to this for a second. And it just went thing. It wouldn't stop. It, it was I like know, you could same I thing, right? This, yes, and it was a beautiful yeah. moment. And these are, and I yeah. only knew ten people, and the rest I had no clue who they were. But right. there was Facebook ads and the whole bit. And my five thousand friends on Facebook were filled up. And I said, "This will never." Happen again in my life because it's just a moment. I, I knew it was you know the same about? thing with me. I was, it was the yeah. same exact thing. Right? right, and you're like, this is hard right. to understand. And it's yeah. one of those things you don't expect. You no, no, no. Anticipate. That was the last thing I was worried about. For. <laughs> yeah, right. And then when you know? it happens, you're right. That was one of the good right? moments, you know, of highlight that going off. And yeah, and I was at. Uh, so I went back to Bill Medley's. Yes, you know, that's right. In Branson. Yeah, and I was at his house yeah. when, I, when when it all started. Oh like, no way. Yeah, and it and it started blowing up. You know, sure, everything, everything was just yeah from East Coast and yeah. the, the whole time. Yeah, you know, yeah, boy, that was what a cool else. moment. And it's one of those moments as an entertainer. Uh, I think you sit back because you know in, in entertainment we don't have accolades like a lawyer. Oh. You get a degree, an accountant, you get a degree. In in uh, entertainment, That's, there's no degrees. There's just reputation. yeah, you, you played <laughs> Racy Music Hall, you played the Ryman, or you played mm -hmm. whatever the heck you have. You know, uh, you played Vegas, and if you have, those are our degrees. And if you play that, we go. What was your last gig? Oh, the Ryman, or the, the whatever it is, Metropolitan. You're like, oh my God. Oh well, if you can play that, you can. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. in 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 the real world. If you get a degree from Harvard, oh, that's but that's equal to a Harvard degree in our world, yeah. So especially winning AGT or anything, so it's one of those neat moments yeah. that you can have for us. Which, if you're not in the business, you wouldn't. I don't think you understand it, but it's yeah, it's kind of cool. It's very hard for people to understand, as we know. Mm -hmm. We talk about this a lot, um, but uh, not to change the subject. Oh. Maybe a little bit here. Um, uh, so we so we're at my house. If you yeah. don't know. And uh, we did a meal. We always do a meal. Yeah. Um, Beautiful dinner. This man cooked. Yeah. An he's an amazing. Little do you know, he's a phenomenal musician and writer. But um, the, the cooking, I'm telling you, <laughs> is equal to his singing and his writing. I mean, it's, and I, I'm not that picky with food, though, but the food was delicious, right? Oh, I mean, absolutely. nice job. Oh, Very nice. Smoking. I'm getting better. I yes. learned by watching. And learned, healthy. And healthy. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I haven't been cooking but until the past few years here. And I, I just spent, you know, my years with Lucy in the kitchen, and she kind of showing me around, you know, yeah, and uh, getting to know spices and things. Right, and what you that's like? It, that's it, right, and then that's it, you know. And I, I'm no big cook, but I do love to uh, to get in the kitchen. I help. I helped. Helped. You helped. Uh, yes, you did. Shake and bake, baby. Yes, I you did. Helped. Maybe that's your new show, I Lucy helped. in the Kitchen, with Michael. <laughs> we, we need to do that. Lucy in the Kitchen. You know, we need to do that. that. Yes, Lucy in the Kitchen. And then you cook, and, and she's just, there, like hyping well, I'm just it up over a there, bit, you know. That's right. Chopping up things, and she's telling me to chop See? up. You and know? she's a good cook as well. But do you cook well, a nice meal? I, you know, that's where right, I kind of learned it from. Was her? Now she cooks a lot of her country's food, which is the Czech Republic. And I love that stuff, man. It's a lot of, you know, that Slavic culture. Oh, it's like you know, Ukraine German. from where my family's you know, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, crowls, yeah. Eastern crowls Europe, yeah. And duck and yeah. rabbit and, you For know. sure, anything that's alive, you're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, vegans. Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. My family's vegans, vegans so I get out that. there. Yeah, yes. Exactly. We still support the vegans. We had yeah, a great absolutely. salad. Speaking of vegans, that salad you made. What was that salad called, though? Because you had, a, like, was it papaya in it? Passion fruit. Pa oh, passion fruit. Yes. So I, 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 I did a in the sa in the salad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just did a cucumber salad. Uh huh. You know, gutted it. Uh, yeah. And, and used that uh, puree to you know with the passion the vinegar fruit though, right? and, yeah, the passion and and then I, yeah and then I topped it off with some passion fruit which kind of complements the whole yeah. cucumber in my mind. Uh -huh. I yeah. never tried it, but I, I wanted to see what everybody thought about that. Delicious. That was, delicious. That was, that I feel was, healthy right now. I feel like I got another year in my life just by eating so, salad. So we, we, <laughs> thank you. We ate and we drank. And we're still we drinking. Married, we're still right drinking. Now. Yeah, we're still, we're still drinking. Cheers yeah, to everybody so out there who has a glass, you know, for watching this. You know, yeah. Cheers. Now, now. Well, Earl is just sitting in the middle here. He's just yes, you are. Earl in the middle. That's another he's, show. He's, he's a mascot right now. You know, he's just. I know. It is what I love it your is, shirt, man. though. This is yeah, great. Is. Yeah. I love that. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, but Murray, do you do you uh, do you sing? Any? I do not sing. I can hum. Do you know any songs? Do I know? I know songs. Yeah. I mean, like, I know different songs. <laughs> you know? Is there a song know? at all that you can sing? Oh no, I don't. I can hum. I can. I, as long as you're singing, I can sing with you. <laughs> uh, but I'm not. I'm not saying it alone. That's why I do magic, Michael. That's the reason I do magic. <laughs> You know. Okay, so, uh, so you know. So what? What? What do you? If you could sing a song, what would you want? What would you? What oh would you man, sing? on the spot. I don't know. Um, I mean, is it? We're gonna go with new songs or old songs? Like, I don't I mean, know. I was just throwing this out. We don't have to uh, sure. sing a song, but uh, I thought maybe you might know. I mean, I like the classics, sing. like. Um, um, the classics. As I now try to think of a classic, though. Oh, and Heartbreak look at this. Look at this. Good. Oh, um, look on his lap. Oh yeah, Lou, little Lou, she's my little mascot <laughs> right there. Look at that, huh? little Yoda. Um, I, um, Stairway to Heaven's great. I know it's a classic, but it's it's been all right. Playing. All right, wait, Stairway um, to Heaven. Hotel California. I like Hotel, Hotel California. California. That's a good. Song. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna I can, yeah, but right, you're gonna right, sing. Right, I'm gonna, right, gonna right, yeah. All right, all right, let's see. Right, yeah. So Hotel California is good. <clears throat> you're gonna start. Oh, wait, I gotta tune up. Hang on. Okay, well, I gotta, oh, put my, I gotta push my mic further away because you don't wanna hear all of me. Trust me on this. Get the tambourine. I'm losing the bike. Come here, you little. There we go. Now we're up. That's it. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> all right. This is a request by Murray. Yes. And uh, so he's going to be singing. Back, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's going to have that drunken, confident moment oh, where he's going to take over. I feel it. You know, you're not drunk enough. I don't know. Kalua might be drunk enough. Kalua might be drunk enough. Here we go. Seriousness. 
Mirrors on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Pink champagne on ice. She said, We are all just prisoners here of our own device. And in their master's chambers, they, they gather for their feast. They stab it with their steely knives, but they just can't feel the peace. Last thing I remember is I was running for the door. I had to find a passage back to the place I was before. Relax in the nightmare. We are programmed to receive. Come on, take it off. You can check out any time you like, but you can hey, never go. leave. <laughs> I'm just enjoying listening to you, man. Oh, I'm just going to end it right there. Man. <laughs> just... Woo, Michael Grimm, everybody. Michael Grimm. Murray Sawchuk. Oh, painful, but thank you. I love the way you respond, though, musically. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I know. Interesting technique that you <laughs> use there. Yeah. You're looking at the mouth and you're going, ah, yeah. I know, it's good, right? That's, that's what I do. That's why I do magic. That's why I do magic. Yeah. I bring comedy. I, I, yeah, I can hear you when you're doing magic now. And yes, you know, exactly. Uh, it's all here. Yeah. 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 I know. And so when you do when you do the hand, you guys, man, in the magic world, mm. the way you use your hands, I mean, you have this remarkable way of just, it's all this the beautiful nest, move. The yes. Nest. I know. You know, and. And it sometimes it looks uncomfortable to just people you that don't know what right they're now, doing. Really impressed with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You produce a dove right this moment, I'll be shocked. You know, the way you grab things. Exactly. Look at this. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do well, you think something's going to come out? I know. Right? Yeah. yeah, I was waiting pretty, for it. I was like, that, I was that's because like, I'm a magician. I'm a musician. Right now. You're the magician. I know. Okay. I've I'm got, the I musician. Trick for you, later. you did. Oh, can yeah. we do that? It's a musical. Show. Yeah, do it whenever you can want. We, can we? Can we see now? Anytime. Your your wife to be yes. is a is a, not only a, a Las Vegas professional showgirl. Mm-hmm. She's about six foot five or somewhere in there. Exactly, color a giraffe. Right, right, and she's <laughs> tall and beautiful. Yep. And uh, but she's also uh, she works with you. Yeah, she works with me in yeah. fantasy now. But that was never a thing though. Like we started that a year ago in the pandemic, you know, because um, we couldn't work anywhere, as right. we all know. We were all hanging together, you know. And so I said, let's do some stuff on the street. I'll teach you a cool trick to do. And she'd never worked as a magician assistant before, really. So I said, hey, let's, because she's a showgirl. She's a dancer in Las Vegas. She's been in Jubilee, which is the, the last real Vegas show in Vegas. Mm-hmm, the showgirls mm-hmm. with the jewelry and the stairs and all that cool, the big walk. Boy, if you know Vegas, it's, yeah. that's, that's And that was the last one. Before that was Paul Ice yeah. Berger. And before that, we had the Lido and everything other. And, and so she was in that. And then she moved to Crazy Girls, which is a show here in Vegas. Been here over 30 years. And she's now the host of that. So we never worked together because we wanted to like each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> because, you know what I mean? Like, it's not always easy, right? That's a very difficult so, thing, yeah, yeah, to move that in. So yeah. we were hanging out at home like this. And, and I said, hey, why don't we I teach you on the tricks? Let's just shoot a video on our street because everyone's locked in their house. This is when, like, everything was locked down. Yeah, yeah. Like, toilet paper was not existent. And so I taught her a couple tricks in the um, driveway. And we filmed it. And then, ironically, a bunch of TV stations picked it up because they were looking for news, too. Because what else are you going to do, right? Everything's shut down. Yeah. And then once shows started coming back over the last four months, um, when I went into fantasy over at Luxor as a guest spot, um, they wanted bigger tricks because they had to be in a bigger showroom. And it's harder to be seen when you're in 1,800 seats with 200 people. So um, I said, hey, you want to do the tricks with me? You know, because her show hasn't come back yet. And so now we're kind of working together in the evenings. And I'm loving it because nice. she's a pro and I've done this stuff forever, so it's it's a fun thing. Like there's no there's and now are you, arguments, you know, you've seen <laughs> you've seen Murray, I'm sure, not only on you know uh, AGT know. back then, but you also yeah. work on Pawn Stars, yeah, Pawn Stars once in a while. Yeah. He's the guy that appraises all the, uh, old, the magic crap. old magic stuff because you have a lot of that too. And I've been yeah. to your house. That's right. Your yeah. house is a museum. Yeah, with all that and, stuff. Like, Debbie Reynolds, yeah. not even just magic, yeah. but Phil yeah. Stiller, Jerry yeah. Lewis, you know. Yeah. You're he's, you're a true fan oh, I love of, of Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Vegas of this is the whole, business. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm a huge fan. And, and you can see that if you go into his house. Um, you've been on Pawn Stars. You just got off the Mike Huckabee show That's recently. That's right, over in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Tennessee. Was that in Hendersonville? That. It was Hendersonville. Yeah, yeah. I, because that's that's yeah. Turner Bro- Broadcasting Network. Correct. Tr- and, yeah. It's, it's oh, actually, Trinity. Not Sorry, Trinity not Turner. No, yeah, don't yeah. say that, Mike. Exactly. Not Turner. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Wish Trinity we can edit that. Network. Trinity yeah, Broadcasting yeah. Network. Now I was yes. on there when I was younger. Yeah, I got well, to right. I got to perform on the Ryman at the Ryman Auditorium. Are you serious? Yeah, and when I was seventeen. That's huge, though. For wow. the CCMA, uh, well, we get the real was, Ryman, not not the yeah. uh, where the opera is now. Not, not the Grand Right, is, there, not there's the Ryman two anymore. different yeah. ones, yeah. locations. There's the original. That's, that's right. the that's church. the mother church that's of right. country music, mm-hmm. and then you got the the. New so facility. is the acoustics in there as amazing as they say it is? All all the seats are all wooden. You and it's, when when we were in there for rehearsal, I'll never forget. You can tell back in the day they didn't need a sound system. It, the way it's set right? up, man, you can whisper on the stage and you can hear it from the very yeah. last pew. I've heard that. Yeah. I've been there. You know, yeah. I was uh, clearly not a singer, as we know. Um, but the that sound in there, from what I've heard from other artists being there, it's just one of those ones. You walk in and it's a built-in It is, yeah, it's something itself. else. Yeah. But I did get to spend some time in Hendersonville. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I know that's where Trinity Broadcasting mm-hmm. Network is out of. Yeah. And then I was part of the whole Christian country music. No way. Did you, you do know, that for a while for then, starting well, out? Well, that's or? how I broke into really? the music. Yeah, no way. yeah in Nashville okay. I didn't when know I was that. 15 it's a big scene. And, yeah, to 18. Yeah. You know. No way. Did you yeah. live in Nashville at that point? I or? did. I, no I, was a, I was a staff writer. That was my first gig. Are you serious? Yeah. I did not know yeah. That. yeah. They paid me $600 a week back in the 90s. Late that's 90s pretty good. To, for being a yeah, writer. for just kind of. For doing what doing? Well, for a teenager, too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You do anything you want to do. You know what I mean? Cause, yeah, yeah, and it got, you know, sure. it hooked me up with uh, the world I'm in today. And, uh, yeah. and uh, you know, it chased me out, you know. Sure, fair enough, Nashville, as it does. Yeah, as yeah. it does. And, yeah. and I wound up out here in Vegas, and I wouldn't be here without uh, yeah. experiencing all of those things. Well, look what you've done, though. You know, you're on the road, you know. You're doing 20, 30 dates a year when the world's not locked when down. When the world's right? not locked you're down. You're playing yeah, Vegas all the time. You're Smith right. Center, and you're playing all the different venues. Here. Yeah, yeah we are lucky. Thing. We're lucky. So group, lucky. Aren't we? Yeah, you're so lucky. Yeah. And we're still doing it. You know, that's the, the key now, I think, is just staying relevant. You know, yeah. like I've told everybody, we talked about this at dinner, right. that, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you play now or what cover of a magazine you're on right now is, are you still doing what you love? Mm-hmm. And can you still pay your bills? And that is ironic. Like, it's almost back in vaudeville now we're dealing with, or the 60s, when people did it because they love it and they're still doing it. Because there's a lot of people that have left Vegas to Who do did a, I think it was right. John Katz, yeah. that uh, our local uh, yeah, journalist John, out yeah. here, John, uh, with the Review Katz. Journal. Yeah. <laughs> he did, did, wasn't it him that did a, uh, a write-up about entertainers? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was, wasn't it him that did? We have oh, to yeah. find this. John Katz great. What angle, though? What was it? Well, like? he... he, he very empathetic towards uh, the entertainment, entertainment, oh, and, what was and entertainers. Over the last year, meaning, well, just or? no, not last year. Sure. Uh, this was a few years ago. Oh, okay. He wrote wrote this just about entertainers in general. Sure. You know the, the the stuff you have to go through oh. to be able to survive this business. But he did this thing, and I have to find it. Mm-hmm. And hold me to this, guys, and I'll show it to you because it is one of the best. I, I, I would not even try to paraphrase any bit of this. Sure. Um, it's so beautiful, and it says everything that needs to be said yeah. uh, about what what we go through. We don't realize what we go through, yeah. you know? Yeah. We, don't, we don't realize. You see us on stage, you see us somewhere, and our life does look amazing, you know? And, and you see Facebook, mm-hmm. and it looks amazing. We don't realize, mm-hmm. though, like, you know, if we want an easy life, we would have went to school, got a degree, and been a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant. And I'm not saying those are easy jobs at all. No. I'm just saying there's a formula. Right. You go to school, you graduate if you do. Therefore, there's a value that you can make sixty to 150000 a year at some point in your life. And that's smart. You know, or a nurse or a doctor. And it's, that's it's very smart. smart. But when you're a musician singing great songs or a musician or a magician, um, there's no – we could do the best trick or the, write the best song in the world or play the best instrument in the world. But if no one can hear it or we don't have the uh, – outlet to let people see us do what we do like America's Got Talent or Stages of Las Vegas right. it doesn't matter there's doesn't a, so matter. many talented people in the middle of Iowa and Montana Oklahoma that we'll never know of no. um, like the Kelly Clarksons and all these other people way that are stars now we you know because of now. venues that have let us be on them yeah. um, you know because it's a really and everyone's got a different path you we, do, we, you do, I, do. I, I kind of feel sometimes we have to sort of be uh, people say left of center, but you sort of have to be a little bit of what people call insane 
Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, a little being, bit crazy. It's a little a crazy little yes. to do this because, you know, a lot of people, you know, why aren't you worried about this? Why aren't you worried about that, Michael? And I'm like, well, if I worried about that, I would not be able to do this because they uh, you have to pick and choose. How you true. Know, yeah, you're, you're, yeah. You're the things that are, you know, bothering you really in this business. What bothers me yeah. in this business are, you know, are, are very few things because I, I put them all aside, right? Yeah. Sure. To. Well, people always ask me being in Vegas, right? And and I think I've spent probably 100 bucks in my entire 20 years in Vegas. I don't gamble, right? And people always come to me and they go, oh, my God, how do you not gamble in Las Vegas? I'm like, I'm a magician. I've gambled my career. You're all like, yeah, I, I, you're I, all you know, Magic is right down there by right. Conan Juggler. Like, if I want to be successful, magic was not the one to jump on. You know what I mean? So that's, I gamble every day of my life, right? So, and boy, yeah. it really is when we you know? when we all chase the dollar the of way we, we do, do. man. Yeah. We're not clocking into a nine to five. No. It's not guaranteed. Twenty four hours, isn't it? And yeah. we put more free time into what we do sure. than what we actually get paid for. If you yeah. wanted to break it down hourly, right. we'd oh, make yeah. what fifty cents an hour oh. for lucky. If we're so lucky, gotta that's day. why you have to have a love for it because it really becomes very mundane <laughs> at some point. Yeah. You know, you just it's like okay, now do I really love this? Okay, yes. now look at my checkbook. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm doing good with this right, right. now. You know, it's it's, yeah. it's and then in, in life in the business of entertainment, this goes for as the biggest stars of Dolly Parton to to all of us still hustling. You know, uh, you know, you'll have an amazing gig where you'll be like you'll play for the president or you'll be on a TV show that the whole world sees, and then literally for 24 hours you're you're treated like the queen. You know what I mean, or the king, and then all of a sudden 24 hours later you're on a plane, come back home, car soon as you land, carrying your own bags yeah, again, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fixing your own car, and then you're going to do a gig down the street where you're changing the hallway. But before that, you're in a limo, and you've got people doing your makeup and your hair, and, and then it really is like that. The and, world of know, entertainment. And yeah. it is lonely, too, because yeah. I've noticed after doing like a show like what you're talking about, and you're in a limo, or sure. you're in a bus, or yeah. something, or a shuttle, you know, you're by yourself all of a sudden. You yes. were in front of everybody at this one moment. Yeah, and they love then you. You're, yeah, and they love in you, and then, then, then you're in this quiet place all of a sudden, and you're... Yes. You're still here in the crowd and the ringing and it's in your ears. I think uh, 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 Bob Seger mm -hmm. turned yeah. the page, really mm -hmm. stated that well, you know, and then at the end of the night, you're wondering what you said. Yes. You know, you're thinking, did I offend somebody? Did I, you know, it's like, yeah. it's not easy to go to sleep even, you know. Sure, of course. Because you have that high and that yeah, adrenaline yeah, you can't right. replace. I mean, I would right. say... You know, my drug is coffee, sex, and entertainment. You know, that's it. That's really what it is, you know, and a, a little glass of wine, you know. But but it is. It's that hype where you walk out to 1,000, 500, 10,000 people, whatever you're playing, and you have this, and they all know you. You don't know them, but they know you. And it's such a great high. And literally, you hop back in that bus or a car. And then whatever, you're back alone. And you're back in that hotel. And it's and the loneliest yes, feeling. And your wife's at moment. home or you girlfriend know, yeah, or your right. partner, whoever you're with, or anybody, or your parents. And then you sit in that hotel room for that night to go through, <laughs> and then you fly out in the morning. And there's nobody, yeah. like, and but everyone wants to meet you, but then, then do they really nobody. want to meet you? Yeah. And there's yeah. nobody but except room service yeah, and yeah. Netflix, yeah. and and you're texting your wife or your, you know, husband, girlfriend, whoever you know is understanding this talk, you know, mm -hmm. that you sit back and go, wow, it's amazing. There's so much intensity, and then there's nothing except the room service person delivering your. And then speaking of all of fries, that, you know? speaking <laughs> of all of that, you're you're talking about the room service. You were on the road. Sure. You know, a lot of people don't understand. We live out of suitcases too oh, in this in this business. It's for sure. constant road yep. traveling, whether it's on a bus or yep. mostly flying. That's right. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, cruise you ships. You check in and, and, the... and you do your thing. And I, right. would, my first thing now that once you get used to traveling is. I always bring one of those pop-up air fresheners, always. I bring a candle, which yeah, we have in hotels. Yeah, we have it down. I Look, love that. I don't I, know if you can see it over I, here, but wait, let me point my yeah, finger. Yeah, yeah. Let's see right here. Uh -huh. uh, okay, right there, uh, yeah. where I'm going to point it right yeah. here. It's kind of odd. Uh -huh. uh, in that area, there's, yep. a, there's a bag. You see that bag uh -huh. with all that stuff in yeah, yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's that bag we're that's, talking that's, about. All the it's stuff got everything. You feel home a little bit. Absolutely. You take it off, and you go on the road. And there's a couple little things that make you feel good. I love lighting a candle, even like you're not supposed to. Or an air freshener thing, or, just, or and, and when I land, I get a bottle right. of wine because I love wine. Yeah. And after the show, nothing's worse because you finish your show, and by the time you get back, it's ten or midnight. And some places and you're aren't in open. small towns. You can't even get a small little 
little uh, absolutely barefoot shirt everything's and closed. Yeah. So yeah, now right, my thing is yeah, when yeah. I land, as I'm going to the venue, I'll say, "Hey, do you mind stopping off somewhere? I'll get a couple of bottles of red and white because I like a glass of wine at the end of the night." And then, then so when I get back, but that didn't that took me five years to figure that out. You See, know? right, right, right. And, and right, it does. Well, it takes yeah, a while because you want to yeah. have that come because no nothing else to make you happy at the end of the absolutely. day. Absolutely, yeah, because yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you you absolutely have to have that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that bag, Comments. that yeah, bag, you that know, bag, that, that's the right. bag that has the, the stuff the in goods, it. Yeah. You know, and I also have a, a great group of people that comes out with me, and uh, usually they're always, always there. And I'm telling you, they always have like, here's yeah. the wine, my yeah, that's here's right. the, you know, and it's sure. like, oh, they spoil they know. me, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's appreciative, you know. Yeah, so. very much. But yeah, then that's what make them. you feel like you're at home for a minute. Or that you can actually hang out with yourself for a hot minute, you know, and, right. because it's yeah, such an extreme yeah. that, that is. attention is very and then done, so. you know. Yeah. So, so yeah. going back to uh, Danny, uh, yeah. your 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 yeah. your fiance, fiance, yeah, exactly. yeah. getting married in September. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, congratulations! You guys are invited, of course. Well, yeah, yeah. twenty eighth right. in Vegas here. Yeah, well, we're doing it. Yeah, like, sure. We're more that way, sure. Well, you know what? Can, I can bring it down if you want. Yeah, I'll help you out a little bit push here. That this way. Oh, there, there we are. Right. So it's not in my face. There, yeah. yeah. But right. uh, but yeah, no, uh, Danny, we're getting married September 28th here in Las Vegas, and uh, we're all we're doing an old school thing at the Plaza Hotel downtown in the old theater. It's one of the last old theaters of Vegas. The only other one is the Flamingo. Uh, man, um, the Plaza, so, man, that's yeah. yeah, that is one of the last ones. Yeah. yeah. So we're doing a whole vintage vibe thing, and it's all going to be there. We're getting married there. The party's going to be there. And we're doing photos outside with the neon and the bulbs and all that stuff. So, so, right. so yeah. we're invited. You are invited okay. officially <laughs> now. It's documented <laughs> yeah. now. So nice. You're coming. Well, you're good. In. We're we're definitely going to be there. You're in, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be a good time. Because we love you guys. Yeah. Now, uh, you you brought it. You brought a trick out. I did. Okay. I got one. You want to see right. it? Or? Well, I don't know. Should I, I have a trick for you too? Well, I want to see a trick. You know, I, mean, I I I don't know. If, I mean, you know. You, you've taught me a lot just knowing you as a human being, but I don't know if the student's going to become the teacher here a little bit <laughs> in a moment. But uh, All right. I'm excited you know, to see what you have in store for me. Now, I, I, I understand, though, like I was saying earlier, that Danny uh, now is an assistant. Yeah, that's right. Um, so um, is she going to bring you this device as an assistant? No, I here? have it behind us here. Oh, Actually, you have it behind. Well, why, well all, then why so don't you okay. go ahead oh, I'll get and, it, sure. and, and and grab it if you all want right. you at this point. Allergic. Oh, you're allergic. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now yeah. what yeah. I hear. She's got real hair, though. So she's not, here, you don't here, get allergic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he, yeah. Er, Earl has heavy <laughs> dog allergies. Perfect. We should Let's go see here. They warn me. Boy, if you go down. No, we 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 did warn, and he. No time here. No, I got. I took a Claritin D last night. I got my liability. Yeah. You got your liability up, up to date. I know. Oh, my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> uh, now, we have to be able to see this, so okay. we may have to all angle right. the... All uh, right, tell me what you need here. I want to see all this stuff here, all right? And I know we're playing... On the table? Yeah, to a degree. All right, all right. You can right. see a little right. bit here, and we'll crouch down let's, to it. Let's, so let's do this. Yeah. Let's back it up a little bit. I'm going to explain what this all, all this is. You'll know what it is. All right. The people all right. So, you ready for this, Earl? I'm ready. You guys with me on this? All right. So this is the, my newest trick, actually. And I actually bought this when I went to Nashville recently to do, because Nashville's Music City. And I don't really have any musical magic tricks. And so this is, an, this, this is basically the first iPod ever, <laughs> which is a music box, which music box were invented in 1776, 1770s, and um, in Switzerland. And, uh, and I, like, I love history, so that's why I'm mm -hmm. sharing that. Mm -hmm. This was not from 1700s. This is probably from uh, Japan, 2019. But <laughs> anyways, it's a music box. Now... Most music boxes that we know of are snow globes. At Christmas, we wind them up. Or for a baby right, shower, yeah, yeah. you wind them up. It's one right, song. Right. This doesn't have any song. Right. You wind it, there's no songs. But it has 15 bars. And each bar has a note. Okay, so right, I'm playing. Yes. Just so you guys know what I mean. So this is, if you look at this, there's holes in this. I'm going to hold it up close so that you can see. Little holes. And each hole is like, it's almost like something called a piano. Oh, I piano. love these things. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So you put it in here. All right. And if you wind, wind this... We're gonna hopefully it can be heard. We're quiet. So here we go. Actually, let's put a mic over here, there. You wanna hold it by there? Okay. So you can hear it. So here we go. So here's how it works, everybody. Here it comes. See if you can guess the song, even though it's written on the uh, piece of paper right now. Here it comes. <laughs> Happy birthday, right? Yeah. Birthday. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so there it is. That's how that works. All right. So, <laughs> Michael, I thought it would be a fun thing to do. 
today for um, for us to compose a little song for you. Just for you, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to compose a song for you. And I have a strip of paper here that has no holes in it, all right? And a little... You get this thing yeah, that's fine. a little better here. It's got a little arrow. All right. And I'm going to compose a song for you. So the way this works is we have a little hole puncher right here, okay? Just like that. And then we have the piece of paper. And this paper has no holes on it yet, okay? So I'm going to compose a song just for you, Michael. So here we go. I may not be able to sing worth a damn, but I can compose. So here we go. Watch carefully. Watch carefully, all right? I'm going to compose this. Excuse the mess on your floor. Look out, Mozart. Look out, Beethoven. I am doing this right now. Look out, Lady Annabelle. Not bad, right? I'm actually composing the song. I memorized this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is, okay, you just going up and down. And yeah, down. yeah. You really know this no, no, song. I know the song well. Yeah, yeah. So that's exactly how it works like this. I'm going to roll it into a tiny little ball like this, all right, into a circle thing here. Just like this, roll it, roll it. And there's an arrow always at the end of these. That way you know which way to put in the machine. Because you put this in three different ways, it doesn't play a song, but you've got to okay. put it in the right, right way. Just like that, okay. And take this, I'm going to roll this around it with an elastic band, just like that. Also, play this, make sure this doesn't play a sound. People think there's a locked-in sound, oh, this, but there yeah, isn't. So make sure it is, sense. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So, Make sure it just plays oh, wow, normally. Wow, Nothing, no sound. It's, okay, it only works with this. So hang on to this. That's my composed song. All Don't right. touch that, and we'll leave that there. Okay? <laughs> so now, the coolest thing about a music box, though, back in the old days is that uh, whatever song was on this, uh, music box always hit number one. Why? <laughs> only had one song. So that's my own little joke there. So here's what we're going to do. Exactly. All right, so here's a bunch of songs. I have over 26 different songs. So if you look at this, we have uh, Passenger, Let Her Go. We have... Uh, Jingle Bells, we got Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we have Titanic, what's the next one? Mission so we got all these different songs you can yeah, choose yeah, from, yeah, all right, these. So right. they're all different. Right. So, Michael, I'm going to shuffle these. You say stop whenever uh, you wish, okay? So Damn it, you did, okay, all right. Say okay. stop whenever. Stop. Okay, so take, have a look at the song. Is it the right way or not? Uh, upside down or is it? Upside down. Okay, how's that? You know what it is? All right. Do you yeah. see it? Yeah. No, I see it. I'm going to show it to the camera, but I don't know if it'll look. Right. So no, you guys, no, you no, guys no. see it? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So you know what it, do you know the song? I do. Oh, you know the song. Okay, great. So I'll put that away. So would you be impressed if the song that I composed is the song that you chose? Uh, that would be impressive. Would be impressive. Okay, so take the elastic <laughs> off. Okay. Yeah. Take the, I'm taking the... Yeah, rubber band. Yeah, off. and okay. stick the arrow into the music box. All right, we're gonna stick it. And just you can uncurl the whole thing. Side. Yeah, no, the, where the arrows face up. Oh, okay. Stick that in there. Okay. Yep. All right. Right into that little into, yeah, yeah, right there. Oh, right there. All right, there. Perfect. Now all listen. Right. All right. Before we start winding this, what was the song that you chose? Uh, hey Jude by the Beatles. Hey Jude by the Beatles. Would you be impressed if I um, wrote Hey Jude by the I Beatles? I would be super impressed. I'd be a lot r richer <laughs> if I did. So here we go. Right, here we come. You guys ready? Listen carefully. And here we go. <laughs> what do you think? I think the, yeah. there, the, I don't know about this. I Not think bad, right? Magical. See? There you go. Kind of impressive. That's pretty cool. So what? There, yeah. there it is. Yeah. I kind of hey had a feeling wow. you were going to slap me in the face with Hey Jude there. Yeah. You, know? you, feel, you felt that? You felt, I you're felt like it. it was just Hey Jude I slapped you in the face I with. felt it. <laughs> I saw Super Mario Brothers a moment ago, and I was kind of hoping it was going to be that one. <laughs> I'd stop on on the cards, but... See? That's great. That's beautiful. beautiful. My little music magic. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 beautiful. Thank you. Thank, yes. you. Thank you. I would drink yes. that. Oh. Yes. Right. What is, oh. So you said you had a magic trick for me what or something? you think, Lou? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Lucy, uh, my assistant. Yeah. This is Pardon my me. beautiful assistant. Pardon me. Oh, very excited. Oh, Lucy's is in the house. Oh, wow. It's very regal looking. It is regal. I'm quite excited about that. Hello, pups. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right in their face. Right in their face. Right in their face. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. Okay, let me just grab this. Okay. Perfect. Going well. I love like it. This. Okay, you see. This is great. You see what this is? <laughs> what are we looking at? What is it? Okay. <laughs> Book of Matches. Correct. Elvis Presley. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Nice. Let me get my hands right. Very excited about that. Um, okay, so then... Okay. Mm -hmm. right. You're very good. <laughs> what the hell are we doing, Michael? I'm excited. 
Okay. Well, you <laughs> bring the back the music box again? Because I'll bring that up up one more time. Okay. Here we go. All right. Book of Matches, right? Right. Book of Matches. All of them are in place, right? Yeah. yeah. All of them in place. Uh-huh. 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 All right, so all of them in place, right? All of them. All right, now let's see. So we're gonna we're gonna take a match out of here. Uh-huh. We're gonna take a match. Let me do this, this like this, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go here we go. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just go to I'll that. Work. All right. <laughs> we'll just do it like that. Okay. And then, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, oh wow. wow, that's exciting. Wow. Nice. State Farm Insurance, I love that. <laughs> oh, I have another fire alarm right. here. Yeah, it's very nice. Very right. good. Okay. All right. All right. That's exciting. Now I'm going to hand this to you, Murray Sawchuk. Okay, I got it. Now, open it up. Oh, snap. Check that out. There's one match that did not burn. Man. Dude. Man. That's nice. That's very impressive. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. Is that cool? That's not bad. Elvis would be would even be impressed right I'm there. I'm surprised. That's pretty good. That's good for him. Very, look at you. Look at you. See? <laughs> you did a better job than me singing. That's a win for you right there, partner. <laughs> not My much, adrenaline's win pumping right now. <laughs> it's, it's very exciting. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, I love it's that. It's so excited. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you feel yeah. good about that? I do. I do. I get a little pillow, which is nice. That's a yeah, pillow. Lucy brought it. But you a know, heavy pillow. You, you know, don't see that coming. That is a very weighted pillow right it's there. It's got beans in it. I know you guys can't tell us, but it's, it's, it's a beanie pillow. It's like a 10 pillow. pounds, just a little sucker. That's amazing. It's but you know, now, your, your, your wife is uh, currently uh, a magician's assistant. Correct. And uh, my wife is uh, currently a musician's assistant. Correct. Oh, um, nice. Oh, yeah, that. yeah. Very good. You see how that worked? That was nice. Yeah. So, yeah. That's really yeah, nice. take that one with you. Really? Yeah, I can do a trick with it if you want me to. <laughs> you want me to do a trick with it? I just did the trick. Oh, here, hold the candle. That was that was okay. that was the trick. Okay. Like that, see? And then take this, right? You reach inside and you grab a bit of a flame, right? Watch this. I'm gonna step back because I don't trust myself either. Gone. <laughs> see? That's it. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> So anyway, I just didn't light our hairs on fire. On a another hair note, here. that's right. This guy. That's right. <laughs> Eyebrows too. Wow, my fingers are so on fire right now. I'm trying to be cool, but I swear to God, oh my God, that was pretty hot. I felt the heat no, like right up on my face. Yeah. 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 Whatever that is, exactly. yeah, that's well, that's after eating the hibachi <laughs> grill. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what happens after eating the hibachi grill. Yeah, right. You know, that's what he, you did. Isn't that part of the? Tra- You're not yeah. going to tell me, but no. but uh, yeah, I think that has something to do with some spicy food you eat I think it before does. you. I and know. I didn't do like really spicy food, so you must no, have had it was something nice. else. Yeah. I think it was on the way here, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's great. Oh, this is wonderful. How about another song? No. What? I mean, do you want me to sing yeah, the song? You, sing. you want to? Yeah, I want to hear you sing a lot better oh, than me. Oh, sh- you know what? I didn't put on the song Abracadabra when I was. I was going to well, do you this. Play it now, though. I was going to do. Pretend, you know. I was. Oh. Nice. Do you know this song? Not really. <laughs> but I know the song. I don't know any song really well. <laughs> <laughs> we clearly know that. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. a magician if he yeah. knows the song Abracadabra. Yeah, no, I know the first word. I know you know Magic know Man too. Yeah, <laughs> Lucy was wanting me to do Magic Man. I went, oh no, let's let's do Abracadabra. That's a good song. That's a 80s, right? Steve Miller band. I yeah. didn't know the Steve Miller band did that song. I didn't know it was them either. But I'm not shocked for anybody. Or me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't shocked either. <laughs> I'm a picker. Oh, I'm a grinner. Gotta love Steve Miller. Man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you. Yeah. Steve, I, I want to ask you a question. So right now, in the last five years, who's an uh, artist that you kind of like um, or vibe with? Like, you know, I know the old art. We all like people, you know, old art. Whether it be Aurora or like Johnny current, Cash. Current art. Oh, yeah, next five, current. like the last five or ten years is out there. Who do you like kind of look at and go, God, you know what? They got some chops or they got that you really appreciate. Well, it's the one, one you know, every once in a while you get the, the, the guys that come around that, that uh, 
Yeah, it's, uh, you're Chris Stapleton. Okay. You know, yeah, I, I really sure. like him. I think he's yeah. bringing back that style sure. for a country, moment country. when you need it. Yeah. yeah. Well, not really just country, country. Like, Soulful. Like that 70s yeah. style country, that southern rock. Yeah. That's where soul met yeah. piano country, and sure. this whole thing started changing. You know, you Waylon Jennings oh, and Bo yeah. Cephas. Yeah. Yeah. Highwaymen, so, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, Chris Stofferson. Right, right, right. Yeah. I you love know, Waylon Jennings. Yeah. Fan. Oh man, huge yeah. fan. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Will I mean Johnny that voice. Cash. You know, yeah. even the Deuce Has Turn, which was his his song. You know, yeah. you hear that, and you go, oh, "My God, that is him." You know, just a good old, old boy. Boys. Yep, <laughs> never meaning no harm. Yep, so good. It's all you ever saw. Been yep. in trouble. You know, they always had that. Been in trouble with yeah. the law since you, the day they were born. You, know, the other guy I love is Jerry Reed. I love Jerry Reed. Smoking yeah. the Bandit. You know? Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah, with the trucker yeah. songs and all that. You He's know? bound and down. Yeah, so good. Yeah. What was that alligator song he did? The alligator That's right. in the swamp. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but he always had this weird little, almost yeah, like Rodney oh, Carrington always, stuff. But yeah, he had that yeah. kind of thing. He yeah. was a real character. You yeah. can hear it in the, in the and song. And he looked you know? like the guy that he, he sounded <laughs> as. <laughs> the boots, the jacket. Yeah, he smoked yeah. a cigarette yeah, with a hat. Yeah, yeah. He looked the part. It wasn't like, yeah, oh my God, that's him. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. So Here, I you want to take cool. Of course. Oh my Come God. On, oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at her. Just she's melted into my lap. <laughs> now she's gonna melt into his lap. <laughs> exactly. Because she's just a little whore. That she's she like, is. That she is. She's a little whore. La whore whore. <laughs> a little chahua whore. whore. <laughs> a kalua la <laughs> That's it. We gonna do what they say can't be done. We it's a long way to go, and it's so short time to get, get there. I'm eastbound and watch your pants. I'm run. eastbound and watch that better run. I never played the song. <laughs> oh, but I love that. That's great. Yeah. Love yeah. that song. Great yeah. song. The old Jerry Reed. Jerry Reed. Yeah. Hey, Earl. What's up? Man, you've just been up? back there being the mascot the whole time. You say something. You just get into there. Say something. Chilling. How long have you been a musician for, though? How? What, how? When you? What was the age you started doing your About thing? About nine or ten. Really? About here. Yeah. Really? Nine here. or ten. And how did you get influenced by that? Just watching stuff on TV? Or the no, radio? I was playing and uh, watching a drummer at my church. No way. And you were like, "That's cool." I was like, "That's the coolest thing on planet Earth." Yeah. <laughs> And then all of a sudden you started smacking stuff. And then he was a singer. Oh, okay. And he, he was, was like he... the best singer at the church. Wow, so he could play drums and so he, sing awesome. He got up and sang one day, the, uh, his, his Eyes on the Sparrow. Yeah, great song. And oh, I, he God. made me get on the drums. He said, you get on. You, that was it. And I got on and had been playing drums ever since. No way. <laughs> That's a great you, story, you, man. You, said, you told me that story too, man, so many times. Yeah, yeah. And this guy really was a big inspiration oh, for man. you in Baltimore. Wow. Darrell, Darrell Scott. At right. your local church, Paul right? Bishop. Yeah. Darrell Bishop. Oh, Darrell right. Scott, yeah. Is he still around? He's still around. All yeah, right, show him just, some love. Yeah. yeah. Darrell yeah, Scott, he's, if he's out there, I don't know if he's. See what you did? You created right a now, but, yeah, music monster. What a big inspiration. Was 100% you were, yeah, to, was 100%. to Earl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's I funny would, uh, how so many music influences, like Elvis Presley, came from the church. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the gospel and all that stuff, and that sound is unbelievable. I was I mean, on the choir, but I hated yeah. singing. Okay, so you're more you want to I was like, make some man, tunes. I don't know what this, I don't know what's going on over here. I'm sure, just, whatever's happening right that here, that's where that's I'm, my jam. Yeah, that's my jam. I was I was locked into whatever he was doing. It was killing. And Earl, how that. long you been out here, brother? Sixteen years. Sixteen. Sixteen years. Sixteen uh, years. I've been in Vegas. Long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a minute now. Doing the do. That's Sixteen right. years, right. and you 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 work with. Uh, we, I know Sheena Easton. Yeah. Um, is she working right now? Is she? No, she's uh, just like the, everybody just else. Like yeah. everybody else. The, the tour is waiting yeah. for the, the gates to open. Waiting for the concerts to open. Right, back right. Up, you know? She's great. What a great drummer, guys! If you've yeah. never heard her, old, oh. you know, God, man, he's he's becoming a legend in town. Uh, Phenomenal. Yeah, no, he's he's that guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm grateful, I get to work with a lot of great people. Isn't that cool? So that's the best How part. lucky are you? I mean, you know, I'm we forget that lucky. sometimes, you know. No. And there's moments where you do sit around like this. Yeah. I mean, I know we're on live, and so we, after we sit in the patio and chill, and you, we do feel so honored to do what we do. Boy, yes. we really um, do. Yeah. Because we, yeah. it is a privilege, you know, because everyone has a passion out there, and people who do, and are in these small towns that have a passion. Sometimes they never 
get to exercise that. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you do have a passion out there and you're watching, and I don't care how old you are, go somewhere where you can exercise that better if you can't exercise it where you are. Boy, that's you know, great or advice. If you, yeah, or if you've outgrown the community theater that you're in and you think you're a great actress or actor or whatever, go go somewhere. Go to New York or L.A. Absolutely. And it's scary. If, uh, we were, I was always scared of leaving. I mean, I'm from mm -hmm. Canada. I'm Canadian. And I went to the States to try to make it. But if I would never have left, I would have been, I probably would have been doing this. And, yeah. you know, I don't right, think. Because right. Canada isn't a big enough country to sustain it's, this. Uh, it's you tough, know. you know, because uh, you're jumping off of a ledge. Yep. You know, you're free falling, you know. And that's yep. tough, but it's 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 a it's good when you're younger and doing it, and and it's also uh, better when you know you have some friends on the other mm -hmm. side that'll catch you. Yep, you support know? you a little bit. Yeah, they'll yeah. They'll, they'll be like, a hundred percent. You know, so okay, so this is the uh, this is the daily uh, Raymond Grimm, my cousin, yep. uh, uh, dial in. He, he right. says, okay. so yeah, he's saying uh, every breath you take. Every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. That's his day. That's I asked, nice. I asked him to bring, you know, That's send right. me like a text sure. when I'm on the show. Yeah. He's watching right See. now. Hey, what's up, so, Ray? What's up, Ray? Ray? Yeah, so he... Uh, Thanks he for seems watching. Thanks be, for hanging. He seems to be somewhere around the house. I don't know where. But guys... <laughs> I don't know. We need to watch out for this dude. I'm telling nice. you. Nice. Uh, he is a. Uh, he, yeah, is a he is a known. Uh, uh, perpetrator. Perpetrator. Uh, you think you? Yeah. Be on the lookout for Raymond Graham. So whenever I get a text from him like that, I know he's stalking me. I love he's, it. He's my, I love it. No, he's, no, that's my. That's yeah, my cousin. That's my cousin up in Alaska. He's up in Anchorage with my fam up in there. Nice. Yeah. Good we place to be. Beautiful up you know? there. Yeah, I'd love to go up Anchorage there. Anchorage and Kenai Peninsula. Yeah. You know. I've been up there Skagway and stuff, but not that far north. So here. I got a lot of Grimm family up there. Yeah. That's where my grandparents passed away. Really? Yeah, yeah. No they're, way. They're buried out there or Great. ashes scattered. In the That's sweet, though. Back forest. to the homeland. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm from the extreme north mm -hmm. and the extreme south. <laughs> I mean, like both sides. Man, of my at least you got it covered, though. You know, yeah. you got it covered. Right. See, it makes you holy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Murray, thank you, man. Thank thanks you for having thank me. You. Thanks yeah. for having me over. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for being a friend. Yeah. You know, early you. man, so early me, Campbell. Told me man. Murray was coming. I said I'm coming. He over. said, I yeah. said, come on over, I'm man. So glad you're hanging, brother. It's so good hanging with you again. Thank you. Thank you, Kalua. Yes, Thank old you, little Lou. Lou. Oh, Lou. little Lou. Oh, baby. Oh, oh yes. look at her, how tiny. See, she and gets the Latino boat right here for the group. Yes, hey, yes, girl. yes. <laughs> Yo quiero yep, taco beer. Exactly. <laughs> and thanks for having me on, Mike. Really, it's oh, been man, fun. And over the house and all that stuff. I know so. we didn't sing a lot of songs, but no. you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to take the moments, you know, in, sure. in my house here to enjoy sure. and uh, yeah. do whatever. Yeah. And uh, and I know I didn't read any anything coming from everybody, but thank you guys. That thank you right. so much. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, my friend Chanel from Baltimore dialed in too. Oh, yeah, nice. well, wow. Chanel from yeah. Baltimore. Nelly. Nelly. Wow. Well, hey, Nelly, what's up? Nelly, man? thank you so much for joining. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, That's awesome. guys, know about Raymond. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> uh, okay, love you all. Mwah. God bless.